the Green Enchantress. A long time ago, there lived a king who was fond of capturing animals and putting them on display in his private zoo. The animals of the king's forest would never have had a happy moment if the Green Enchantress had not taken it into her head to bewitch the king. This has been the worst day ever. We couldn't even catch a rabbit today. Give him some space. He needs to calm down. The Green Enchantress was a magical being born of the forest. She loved the animals and could not bear to see them captured. So, she decided to put an end to it. Good evening. Were you able to capture any animals today? No. All the animals ran away from me. Ha! Huh. So would you, if a group of armed men were coming after you. Would you? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know much about girls. Now, if you were a boar... I am not a boar. The Green Enchantress was angry at the king for comparing her to a boar. So, she decided to turn him into a boar. Why isn't it working? Please wait. Who are you? The king was very curious about the mysterious woman, but he had no idea who she was or whether he would get to see her again. Your Majesty, why do you look so dazed? Prime Minister, you are a very knowledgeable man. Is there perhaps a witch in this forest? There are legends about the Green Enchantress. She is said to be the most beautiful woman in the kingdom. I suppose she is. Well then, my king, you are love-struck. <laughs> the Green Enchantress could not imagine why her spell did not work on the king. She decided to ask her godfather, the great wizard Smilax, about it. What's the matter? Well, I tried to turn the king into a boar today, but nothing happened. Why cannot I bewitch him? I think the king has a protective spell around him. Most kings are protected against bewitchment. That's not fair! How am I going to protect the animals if I cannot use my powers against the king? You can always use your charms to bewitch him. Are you implying that I could make him fall in love with me? That could work. Can you turn me into a princess? But I don't want to be like all the other princesses. I want to be a real princess. I'm afraid I cannot do that. Nobody can make a real princess. Not even the fairy queen herself. Real princesses make themselves, and that is a very different matter. But I have to be a princess if I want to enter the palace and meet the king. Not necessarily. The palace has a back door as well as a front door, does it not? Although princesses enter the palace through the front door, anyone can enter through the back door. But the moment you do, your magic powers will disappear. But why? You are a magical being who belongs in the forest. Your powers were created by the forest. So, once you leave the forest, your powers will vanish. That's all right. I cannot bewitch him with my magic anyway. If I cannot bewitch the king, I do not want to be an enchantress anymore. It's your choice, my dear. I wish you all the best. And so, the green enchantress left the forest. The moment she stepped out of the forest, her magic powers vanished. She entered the palace as a simple girl looking for work. She was hired as a scullery maid by the head chef. By chance, she ran into the king one day. The scullery maid was delighted to meet the king because it had been her intention all along. Hello there. What are you doing? I am picking beans for the king's dinner. That's very kind of you. Will you show me the beans you picked? Are you sure those are beans? They better be. I put so much effort into this. Where are those beans? Now, where have I seen her before? Where are the beans? I saw the scullery maid picking beans in the garden, but they are not here. The beans are here, Your Majesty. Those aren't beans. The beans that grow in my garden are bright red. I, I, I suppose they turn green when th they are cooked. Then I will eat uncooked beans from now on. Make a note of it, Prime Minister. 
Ever since their first meeting, the king could not get the scullery maid off his mind. He felt that he had seen her somewhere before. Before he knew it, he found himself searching for her. He even forgot to carry out his duties as the king. Your Majesty, where are you wandering off to? You have so much work to do. What about the hunt, Your Majesty? Won't you go to the forest to capture more animals? What work? What hunt? I'm going to pick vegetables for my dinner. That's much more important than anything else. What's wrong with His Majesty? He never misses a hunt. He's been acting very strange lately. Maybe the Green Enchantress bewitched him. I was looking for you everywhere. What are you up to? I am looking for Sage for your dinner. But I have no idea what Sage looks like. Don't look so worried. I don't care whether I have Sage for dinner or not. But the head chef cares. He will make a fuss if I didn't bring him Sage. Come with me. I will help you. Sadly, the king had no idea what Sage looked like either. In the end, the two of them found a rosemary bush and decided that it was Sage. Look, this bush smells sweet. This must be Sage. If you say so. Where's the sage, girl? Oh, I have to go. There you are. Where's the sage? Here. This is not sage. Go and bring some sage this time. Your Majesty. Head Chef, I came to request something from you. Anything, Your Majesty. From now on, I will only eat food made from the ingredients brought by that girl. But, Your Majesty. She hardly knows which is which. The dishes will taste catastrophic. I don't care. Do as I say. Uh, of course. But if we use the ingredients she brings, everything will taste weird. The king's words are the law, boy. Let's just do as he says. Go and ask the scullery maid to come back. We'll just use rosemary instead of sage. The king's strange request caused many awkward situations during dinner. All the dishes tasted weird, but the king seemed to enjoy them nonetheless. Is the king all right? Is something wrong with his taste buds? Hush, something is definitely wrong, but we don't speak of it. My guess is that the green enchantress cursed him. The courtiers decided that the king had been bewitched by the green enchantress. How else could they explain his weird behavior during dinner and negligence of royal duties? As a solution, they decided to organize a grand ball to take the king's mind off things. I have fabulous news. There will be a ball tomorrow. The courtiers are all excited about it. There will be many princesses there besides yourself. I shall not be there. I am a scullery maid, not a princess. You are a true princess. Other princesses never pick vegetables for a king's dinner. None of them are as kind and caring as you. The other princesses never wear old clothes. None of them look so charming and beautiful as you do in those clothes. Now where did that girl get to? Won't you come to the ball? I'm not a real princess, you see. Won't you come? Perhaps. It was indeed a grand ball. Princesses from many different kingdoms came to dance with the king. Everyone except the king seemed happy. No one else could imagine why the king looked so forlorn. And then something very odd happened. Who are you? She is nothing but a scullery maid. She is the great enchantress. Nonsense. Anyone can see that she's a princess. She is the queen, of course. At that moment, everyone understood who the scullery maid was. Although real princesses have to make themselves, it was certain that only a king can make a queen. From that moment on, the scullery maid was acknowledged as the queen. You really the green enchantress? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I gave up being an enchantress when I found I could not bewitch the king. Why did you want to bewitch me? 
because you were so fond of capturing animals. I will never do it again. I will never do anything that causes you displeasure. Believe me, can't you see? I'm lovestruck. According to his promise, the king released all the animals in his zoo back into the wild. He also banned hunting animals for pleasure. From then on, the forest animals had nothing to worry about. My dear, look over there. It's my godfather. You look happy. I am happier than I was ever before. You managed to make the king fall in love with you and release the animals. You also became the queen. Will you be coming back to the forest now? My home is here. I fell in love with him too, you see. I'm happy for you. Remember to come and visit me sometime. Definitely. And that is how the green enchantress bewitched the king with her charms. Needless to say, they lived happily ever after. <laughs>